Hey yo, Omnidogs and Omni Kittens, it's Omnidog here with an overview of some Red Sonia books uh, that have come out. Peace and love. Red Sonia books that have come out from Dynamite recently and uh, one that has come back into print. The first one's The Invincible Red Sonia, which is brand new from Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, and Moritat is the uh, illustrator. This one a lot of people are excited about. They call it the Frank Thorne Red Sonia on Omnibus's Adventures of Red Sonia. Frank Thorne does a majority of the artwork, which we will get to. And then I've already read this and loved it, but I noticed that it's back in print. So since it's right here, don't forget to go to Organic Priced Books using my code Omnidog. Okay, I'll stop doing that. It's really annoying. $2 off with code Omnidog and 5% off shipping three or more books together with code Omnidog. Ship it together. So I found Gail Simone wrote a really good Red Sonia. And the art is great. And I just found it to be, it, you know, first of all, it's bloody and it's violent. Um, the art is great, but the story is great too. Oh, forgot about that part. But yeah, lots of things live and die in this. in all of those books that we're going to do. So this is the Gail Simone one, which is oversized, by the way. The other two are not. They are standard sized. Oh, Jenny Fersone, what a great cover. So that's what the Gail Simone book looks like. Uh, let's see if we have, I mean, it goes on for a lot. I just didn't, I have two other books to fit in this overview. Um, I forget what the back matter is. Lots of variant covers, which is always welcome. I love variant covers that get put in here. And yeah, that's it. The variant cover gallery. So I read this, highly recommend it. It's really good. Now these other two I haven't gotten to yet. Um, but I know a lot of people were excited for this. Yes, it is, as you can see, standard sized, but it's still a collection. I'm fine. I'm, I've given up caring if it's oversized or not. It's, it's a collection, so I'm fine with it. Um, Let's see. So writers, Roy Thomas, Bruce Jones, Clarnado, artist, Frank Thorne. He's the primary artist. And then we have a bunch of other artists in here. Some famous names, Howard Chaikin, Dick Giordano, Neil Adams, and some others. And so here we have the table of contents, covers and extras. So there's a lot of covers and extras, as you can see. And this takes us to volume one, takes us from volume one, Red Sonja, Marvel feature one through seven, November, 1975, and takes us up through Call the Barbarian, She Devil with a Sword, Call two through three, and volume three of Red Sonja went through 1978. Oh, and then there's stuff from Savage Sword of Conan. 77 through 95. So as I said, I have not read this yet, but this is gorgeous. Gorgeous writing, gorgeous coloring, gorgeous writing. I meant gorgeous drawings, gorgeous coloring, and... It is Bronze Age, this beginning stuff, so it could get a little wordy, but it's going to be full of action 
and well-written adventures. A sec, I need to get my cord up here. So you can see why people were excited because there's a lot of great art in here. Frank Thorne, Bruce Jones is the writer. Frank Thorne is the artist. Sonya going up against Conan. She's a badass. I only will say that for Red Sonya. Let's see. Do we have any page breaks here? Oh, there are numbers here at the bottom. That helps. I always like that. Still got Frank Thorne as the illustrator. Roy Thomas wrote these. And this looks like Thorne's silly illustrator. Okay, his art definitely changed as time went on a little bit. Okay, and this art is from Claire Nato. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Illustrators John Buscema and Al Milgram. Okay. And this looks like Buscema and Tony Duzaniga, so <laughs> I dig this. Okay, this is some of the stuff from Cull and the Barbarian Cull and the Barbarians. Illustrated by Howard Chaikin. Who's doing the art here? That's back to Frank Thorne. Okay. I can see why people like his art so much. It's pretty impressive. So let's see what's going on in the extras, which are, I think, helpfully marked by red down there. And it may just be covers, I don't know. Although back then they didn't have variant covers like as they do now. And I did not read these back in the day, so I'm interested to read these. Pinup Gallery. And an afterward, okay. Very nice. And then the next book, The Invincible Red Sonia, by, written by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, the illustrations are a little racier, but there's still no nudity. <laughs> still plenty of blood and violence for y'all. So, which um, is uh, apparently okay. So this does not have, let's see, doesn't have a table of contents. Written by Jimmy Palmiotti, Amanda Connor, art by Moritat, colors by Moritat, and uh, others. So the art is good throughout. And I love Palmiotti and Connor as writers. So I am predisposed to liking this uh, because I really dig their writing a lot. And once again, these are all three from Dynamite, yeah. Let's 
lots of swords and sorcery. Hmm, what's going on here? That looks interesting. This book looks really interesting. And then here is the gallery. Mm, I'd rather these be full page, but they are pretty cool. And there are a lot of them. A lot of cosplay ones. That's cool. Good for those cosplayers. So these are all variant covers. Okay, so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this Red Sonia a thon. And I hope it's helped you. So we will uh, again say goodbye to each other. Peace and love, peace and love. This has been Omnidog. Uh, feel free to uh, go to Omnidog's Vault on YouTube, Omnidog's, <laughs> Omnidog's underscore. Vault on Instagram, and I have a Discord if you'd like to join there. So peace and love, peace and love. Be good to each other out there. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it.